movieweb.com. Okay, now the first thing I want to say is I'm a huge fan of Lori Petty and David Allen Greer, but I was a little weirded out to see that they'd written a script together because that was something I would <laughs> never expect to see in my life. Can you sort of talk about their friendship and what it is about their friendship that made this movie work? Um, you know, David Allen Greer, I mean, he, they both have amazing energy, not to sound too cliche, but they're both really exceptional people, Lori Petty and David Allen Greer. And I think they've been, you know, best buddies for a while. And who better to write a really comp about a really complicated time in your life than with your best buddy? And it's kind of a, a balance because they're kind of very different people at the same time. Um, and David had a very, very funny cameo in the movie, which is <laughs> such a surprise. But they're both just the sweetest, most understanding actors. Now this movie is a little bit challenging for an audience, I'm wondering, and you always seem to pick up really smart, intelligent work. How do you think this film is going to challenge audience members who sit down and give it their time? This film is different. It's different than a lot of movies I see re recently because it's very poetic. It's a, it's a, the pacing is really, for a movie that takes place basically in a day, you know, it's, um, you really get enmeshed in the life because it moves slowly in a very poetic way to me, which is unlike a lot of this, you know, bang bang stuff we see, but it's also filled with a lot of kind of sorrow and a type of violence. And I think, I think it's, you know, kind of a nod to the movies I saw as, as a child that I loved, the independent films. And it is, it is painful. It's about really the, a child not having a childhood and a, and a rape and, you know, but a tale of redemption. Everyone Everyone, just for the audience, everyone worked out wonderfully, and, and I play Lori Petty's mom in it, and a very damaged character in this film, and, and she turned out wonderfully. She's very supportive of Lori's career in the film, so. Well, and you also have a couple of young performers coming in for the first time. This definitely isn't a Disney movie. How was it working with them on set with such challenging material, and did they sort of look up to you as a mentor? Oh, God, I, I, I can't say anyone looked up to me as a mentor. I mean, maybe I did... Um, all my scenes with Jennifer, who who plays the youngest, who plays the oldest daughter, um, kind of Laurie Petty's character. I never really worked with my younger daughters. I wish, because they were they're so wonderful and lovable, and I've met them, and I think they're beautiful. But yeah, Jennifer and I were friends right away. We were we were friends, and she's someone I'd still you know would spend time with. And you definitely have a different look in this film than we've seen you take on before. How did that sort of shape what you did with this character? It was once I got into the wardrobe of this woman who walks around thinking she is, you know, the shit. I mean, she really, she doesn't wear a lot of clothes. She doesn't have a lot of shame. And, you know, it takes place in the 70s. It's kind of a period piece. Um, and, you know, once I had that hair on and the makeup and the drink in my hand, it was really, it was really fun to get really big with it. And Lori kept saying, no, bigger, drunker. I was like, no, this is huge. But you know, at the same time, when someone is drunk and drug addled and selling their body, I mean, that's big. That's not really like actually an insular role. So you can, you can get um, really huge with it. And it was actually kind of fun. And Lori Petty is so awesome. I got to meet her last year at Comic-Con. And she's a lot of fun. I'm wondering, what was that like working with her day to day as far as her being an act, uh, director's capacity? I loved Lori right away. She is generous and understanding and energetic and just an amazing, fun, fun person. And, you know, this movie was shot in such a low budget, so you'd only get a couple takes. And, but she made you feel like, no, it's okay, we got it. You know, she's very confident. And she, it was really great working with someone that I think is such an exceptional actress. She could really guide me and give me some confidence to play such a challenging role. And what was that like for you when she first gave you the script and you read it? I mean, what did you think about both her and David Allen Greer both wrote the script together? What did you think about their writing? I mean, it's on screen pretty good. Yeah, I thought the script was beautifully written. And as far as my character goes, I thought they were some really um, painful but kind of amusing <laughs> scenes in, in how, tough, um, how tough this woman was with her kids. I, I thought she did a great job. I wanted to do it right away. And what do you hope audiences take away from the film once they see it? I think they just take away a really haunting, beautiful story and also a story about redemption. You know, this is a girl that really rough things happened to her and her family, and they all grew up and became creative, capable people that support each other. People can really change.